everyone, it's Rideshare Reseller. Here we go again, another day, another dollar, as they say. And we are gonna go over just a few things again, what sold, not a whole lot, but it's steady, it's been steady. Um, haven't had too many really super slow days, just steady days and a few, uh, few big ones thrown in here and there. Today's more of a typical day for me. This is kind of uh, where I just sit most of the time. And we had, uh, I think, eight items and $440 worth of sales. If you did that times three, 30, times 30 in a day, that'd be 12,000 a month, right? So 400 times 30 would be 12,000 a month, 120, $144,000 a year average. If you did 400 a day, if you do 300 a day, that's 9,000, you can figure that out, right? So it's not too hard if you think about it to, uh, well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, certain areas. I'm in a lucky uh, spot. I have a lot of uh, wealthy areas here again, and uh, I do get pretty lucky. You're going to see a couple items uh, that, you know, were just given away, and, and they have value. And they people just, you know, awfully, obviously just throw it away for some reason. They don't care. So we're going to get right into it. I like to keep my videos short, short as possible got a lot of videos in the can I just have had no time to do them I have some cool stuff that I found that uh, has some really really good value and those are going to be coming up so look for those videos in the future all right all right let's start off with kind of an interesting little one here this one is a set of Hello Kitty watches yeah very interesting uh, find if you saw my video on the um, wherever hot dog bun steamer and the nacho cheese dispenser, well, this came out of that little garage sale, too. It got kind of thrown in. So I paid maybe no more than a dollar for all six. These were on the McDonald's display. Uh, so when you go to McDonald's, they have those Happy Meals. And these are the six watches that they had on that for the girls. And I just pulled them off the package. The package was beat up. I, I you can't you couldn't sell it. So peeled those off, and they didn't sell for a whole lot. It sold for fifteen dollars and nine ninety five shipping, and it's gonna go first class. So I'm gonna make twenty minus fees on this. So because uh, the the first class is gonna be about five sixty for shipping. So Hello Kitty always tends to do well if it's the right stuff, and again if you get it for the right price. All right, pretty cool. All right, let's go uh, let's get what, what was on the video at the beginning there, I think. Let's get this guy. All right. Being from California, I find these all the time. This is a, it's a Rojar. I can't remember how he spells it. O-R-G-A-R. -R. Pretty straightforward. It's a, it comes with a stand. Um, if you look at it, there's a stand with it. Let me, let me get it. I'll be right back. Hold on, hold on. Here, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. All right. This is the stand. So you can... Whoa, whoa, almost broke my leg there. All right. You can disassemble this stand. And then uh, this guy goes in there like this. My finger's all caught. Goes in there like this. And it forms a stand. Problem is, they sell for about the same price. It doesn't make any sense to try and mail this stand. I've done it before, and it just doesn't seem to work because you can attach this to a counter that kind of thing so this now is my garage door stop for my side door it works perfect and that's where I went and got it from so I'm gonna go put it back I'll be right back Crash. makes a great door stop so these guys here, this one sold for $42.25. So they sell for about $40 to $49, no more. This one is like brand new. It's never been used, really. But the kicker's got $21.95 shipping. So uh, I'll probably make a few bucks on the shipping. It's just kind of, it doesn't fit in the Region A box. It's kind of weird. So I always mark them about 20 bucks for shipping. That's a good one to keep your eye out for. Okay, and then you can just chuck the stand if you want. It's not, I don't think it's worth it. All right, let's get to the next item. Another t-shirt out of my t-shirt pile. This one's kind of interesting. 
This is, I think, the Tuskegee Airmen. Okay, yeah, P-51 Tuskegee Airmen. And this one sold for $10.25, $5.25 shipping. Just keep flipping these out the door, right? Make six, seven, eight, nine, ten bucks, depending on how which one I have. And I don't know how many more I have, but I still have a ton. Right, you've heard me talk about it over and over. All right, up next is a pair of very nice, clean, brand new shoes. This is a company called Propet. It's, I think it's French, but what they do, these are mostly like an orthopedic shoe. They're extremely light, so it won't cost much to ship. These are brand new, it looks like, and I got $37.95 in free shipping and have like a couple bucks into these, not much. So again, shoes, you hear me talk about it. I'm not a big shoe guy, but when I find them and I find them new, I usually grab them. All right, we're going to get to, well, we're going to go to this one because I just, I just got this one. You probably will see a video, I think, on the pickup of this item. Problem is, this is a fantastic machine if it works. If you get this Panasonic, this is the DMR. Let me get the model number for you guys, just so you know. Oh, where is it? Oh, I can't even see. My eyes are so bad. Uh, DMR EZ475V. Black. You can pretty much tell. It, it, it's, cosmetically, it's really nice looking. Bought it on a fly, didn't have my testing equipment with me, so I said for $10, I'm going to take it. This is one of those ones that even for parts, even for parts, it will sell. So you're not going to lose out too much on that, but I couldn't get it to work. For some reason, it plays some DVDs, but it doesn't play others, and it just was frustrating to me. So I didn't mess around with it too much more, and I just put it up for parts, $60, and it sold. It sold within one day. If I had it with the remote and working, you could get up to $200 for that particular machine. So I was a little disappointed, but it's part of the risk you have to take. You can't, they're very difficult sometimes to test. And, but when they do, you make good money. And I still made some money. I, I paid $10 and I, I made money. And it's not that difficult to package that item. So did pretty good on that. All right. Now, I'm going to get back to Kevin at Commonwealth Picker because I... It, I text messaged him because I wasn't positive about golf bags. If you throw them in a giant construction bag, if you ship them, etc. And he said, just use two boxes. I thought about that. So I got a golf bag. I really wanted to keep this one, but I've got one. And it's like, uh, I want to see if I could ship one. That's kind of what I wanted to do. So anyhow, I got that bag for 13 bucks. Sold it for 99 and 49 dollars shipping but here's the rub here's the funny thing it's weird how things work out i have a neighbor next door that neighbor gives me all his newspaper and also if he gets any amazon boxes he drops them off so this morning i knew i had sold that and i didn't have a i didn't have a box so i thought i'm gonna go look for a box and i had to drop off my uh my irs check i owed him some money this year <laughs> think so selling all this stuff on ebay so uh as i did that I couldn't, the trash people had gotten all the all the uh, garbage, so uh, there was no boxes. But I came home, and my neighbor's garage was up, and lo and behold, there's a nice big box, and he usually brings them over to me. So I went over to him, I said, hey, Wayne, I said, uh, what's up with the box? He goes, well, I was saving it for Colton, but he doesn't seem to want to play with it. What, you need this one? I go, I sure do. And it's actually the perfect size for the golf bag. So there's my box, you know, a neighbor helped me out. And this is, uh, they're going to, it looks like from what I, my test shipping I did with using the uh, eBay calculator, if none of you uh, have done that, go online and do search eBay, calcula eBay shipping calculator. And on that, you can then, if you're curious to see what it would cost, what I do is I do from California to Boston, and that will give you the furthest distance and tell you what it will cost to ship. This guy is in Michigan, so I knew this was going to be about $38. I have $49 up on the site, so he's about $38 to ship. They're not, it's this cubic weight. It only weighs, it only weighs eight, nine pounds. It's not heavy at all, but it's all that cubic that takes up the room, so you got to be careful. Only some golf bags are worth it. This one I did ship. I'll find another one. I'll find a better one uh, for myself. 
All right, what else we got? Ooh, let's go into, we'll, we'll save the one item for last. We'll go to this one. This is another item, okay, that many of you probably, I don't know if you know of it. It's a Spice Seiko. It's Melodies in Motion is what it is. And, and I have the batteries out. It does play, um, this is the Savorsky crystal one. It's got some little crystals. I don't see if you can see how angle them, they're blue. Problem is with this one, it works fine. There was a little bit of some marring on the dial over here for some reason. So I got this for 10 bucks, knowing that I was probably gonna not get what I wanted for it, and I didn't. I got, it sold almost instantly. And I got um, 65, 29.95 shipping, it's going to Arizona. So I'll probably make a few bucks, 10 bucks on the shipping. So talking 75 out of 10, not bad considering that it's got a flaw. I just really, once I, after I bought it, I said, you know, this might be tricky. So I just took the uh, uh, offer. I think I had it up for, I think I had it up for 72 or 75 and took 60 just because I wanted it to move and make some quick money. Not, not hard to ship this one either. All right. Now we're going to go over this one. If you, I, I'm lost track of all my videos, so there probably have been some of these in the video. Another baseball bat. This is the last one of, I've got one or two left that really aren't worth much value, but this is the Easton one, and this is the ghost. This is the ghost, as they say. And I had three of these, Easton, ghost. All right. The story was a gentleman in a wealthy area of this area decided he didn't want uh, like nine or 10 bats. I answered the next door ad, they were free. Well, actually there was there was one ad. This These three bats were in the one ad. There were three of these. And I said, I'll take those bats. Long story short, he says, hey, I have more. I'll just leave all of them on the side of my house for you. So uh, me and my son-in-law went and we found, I think, nine of these bats. And there was a couple others. There was a De Marini. De Marini is a nice name in uh, fast pitch girls softball or whatever. So long story short, picked them up. And this is the fifth one to sell out of that lot. Okay. And I'll give you the totals that I got for these bats. All right. This one sold for. $114. I had one sell for 85, one sell for 125, one sell for 99, one sell for 135, and then one sold for 34. So six of the nine bats sold for a total of $592. And they all sold within two to three weeks, every one of them. Bats are tremendous when you find the right ones. And wow, you know, um, I have showed you all my next door stuff and it's quite amazing how, uh, people give away. Think about it. He gave me $600 worth of bats for free. So in certain areas, yeah, it's out there. You can, you can really make up some money, um, uh, doing what I'm doing, especially on the free side lately. Uh, I have not done a whole lot of in-store thrifting. It's mostly been on next door. Uh, you'll see more videos here of stuff that I've gotten off there coming uh, weeks. All right, guys. Hey, really do appreciate every one of you. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and we will see you soon.